Hey y'all, Carolina Tony here. To today I am taking you on a new adventure on Lake Harwell. And we'll get started as soon as I get on the boat. And right after the station, identification. <laughs> Lake Hartwell project started in 1955 and was finished in 1963 and there were many towns and houses and homes that are now underwater. One that we are going to visit today was known as Harrisburg Plantation. It was built by a Revolutionary War soldier John Harris Jr. 1762 to 1845. He lived at Harrisburg Plantation for more than 40 years. Today is known as Cemetery Island. And in those days, Harris was a pretty important man. He was a sheriff, he practiced medicine, a judge, not to mention a former Revolutionary War soldier. Before the lake was flooded, the officials wanted the Harris family to remove the remains of their ancestors, but they refused. They refused so adamantly that the case went to court. And finally, the officials just gave up and said, let them stay there. Fortunately for the Harris family, the cemetery was on a high hill on the plantation, and even during flooding, it remains above the waterline. There is a more recent story associated with Cemetery Island. In fact, just a few months ago. Sometime around June of 2022, a lady by the name of Courtney Danielle Taylor, with Courtney's three children between 12 and 15, and Courtney's boyfriend, Eric Elrod camped on Cemetery Island. Well, apparently, Elrod and Taylor decided to go for beer and cigarettes and stranded their three children on the island. Just left them. It wasn't until boats passing by saw the children standing on the shore calling for help that they were rescued. Elrod had warrants against him for methamphetamines and both were arrested for child endangerment and abandonment. There are a lot of folks that go to Cemetery Island that really don't have a clue that there's a cemetery actually on the island. But they go there to camp beach their boat and swim but I had read that once you get on the island just start walking and eventually you come to paths and there's paths everywhere but just seek the high ground just keep going uphill and eventually you'll find it right here It is said that there are over 59 graves in this cemetery, most from the Harris family. The final resting place of the John Harris family in the old Harrisburg plantation, tiny little island in the middle of Lake Hartwell. 
there has been reports by those that chose to camp on Cemetery Island. Island. Oh, and did I say it's also known as Ghost Island? Some say they have seen ghosts. There is a legend that a lady named Sarah Bruin, who was living in the area, and they say that Bruin still haunts this graveyard to this day. She was the granddaughter of a woman accused of being a witch and killed in Salem, Massachusetts. From the top of this hill, you get a view of Lake Hartwell. And I must say, it did have a eerie feeling to it. Okay, well that is going to do it for our trip to Cemetery Island, also known as Ghost Island. I hope you've enjoyed this trip. If you did, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. But until next time, go have a good day.